Well, this weekend we're at Run Cottage Touring Park. Let's go and have a look around. And new to the park last year was this nice little reception um, here that's uh, where you can check in on arrival and you go straight into the front field which is this one and we're parked just to the right here on grass pastures this weekend. Ground's pretty firm here, well drained. Uh, we're only about a mile from the sea on the east coast of England in a little village called Hoseley. And I'll put the spelling of that on the screen because it isn't spelt the way you say it. And the toilets and the facility block is just at the entrance of uh, the front field. Um, and to the right there's an information hut. And uh, beyond that is the white gate you can't quite see uh, behind the hedge there where the doggy walk is and I'll show you that now. Well we've come along to the dog run or the doggy walk field and it's a lovely big field here. It's not fully fenced, um, there's a little stream just to my right down here that's not fenced off. Um, most sensible dogs wouldn't uh, try and jump into the stream but uh, I've got two little terriers here and I think that would be the first place they they uh, try and escape from. So um, other than that it's a lovely big field uh, to run your dogs around in. There's some nice big open grass pitches here that are not being used. It's uh, halfway through March 2020 and although the site is quite busy the hard stands are all, fit, all uh, full. Um, some of the grass pitches uh, are not being used. Some nice cabins. And uh, again, they're uh, able to rent those. And they overlook this pretty little pond which uh, there were some ducks on it earlier but they've seemed to have disappeared they're probably hiding up staying warm somewhere a bit of a cold breeze this morning but uh, as you can see bright skies now at least it's not raining and we're in the first field with the facilities box in the background there. Let's have a look at the second field, the back field. And the back field, same as before, some grass and some hard stand pitches, all nicely spaced. And over in the corner of the field there's the grey and chemical waste disposal point and fresh water to the left. Well, we're leaving the Run Cottage Touring Park and we're gonna go down the little road here for a little walk. And as you can see, part of this walk here for a quarter of a mile or so doesn't have a footpath, so uh, just turn the camera off until we get to the bit where the footpath starts. Now we've just walked about 500 yards down the road, there's a little junction here uh, with the Hosley sign, village sign, and down that road there is uh, the way in to Hosley where the shop and the pub is. We're going to have a little look at that on the way back. We're going to head through All Saints Church um, through the, uh, the graveyard and through the churchyard. The sun's trying to come out and there's a little bit of blue sky up there and we're heading towards a little place called Shingle Street which is uh, somewhere where my mother used to take me when I was a child so uh, some good memories of that. We're uh, going to walk through here. Sheila's got the map. 
Here we go, beautiful old church. Lots of these are found in Suffolk and East Anglia. Um, bit of a stiff breeze. Hope you can still hear me. And it says the church is always open. So we uh, let's have a little look at that on the way back as well. Walking along a road here and we find a little bomb shelter from the Second World War. Uh, hiding in all the bushes there. Now we're coming to the main part of the walk that we have walked before around these marshes here. Uh, it's very open at, uh, along the east coast in places, very flat. And uh, I think we're, we're pretty much at sea level here but there's a bank that holds off the tides in a the distance there. We're just noticing the tide is up because often there's uh, mud just here in these uh, rivers but today it's full of water. So we're going to take a walk along this footpath now which will bring us to the sea. Well we've made it to Shingle Street there's just a few houses here at Shingle Street. Site of scientific interest. In the distance over here, you won't be able to see it on camera, but the Orford Ness is an island where in the war time there was uh, secret testing of weapons. And uh, the sea, the North Sea just here, is uh, fairly treacherous. Uh, pretty strong currents it says on the warning on here for unsuitable for bathing. And uh, we'll just have a quick look at the sea while we're up here. The tide is up. And you can see why they call it Shingle Street. stretches through there along parallel with the sea with one cottage there. Well the Martello Towers are about a half a mile down there. The weather's changing and uh, we've decided that we're going to turn back now. Uh, we've walked about two miles or thereabouts and uh, it's another two miles to get back so uh, we'll have a little look along this road and do a little loop and we'll end up going back the way we came. Well we're back to the church and I'm gonna have a little look inside. Dear little church.
the village shop and post office.